Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and today I'm gonna be doing a payday vlog. If you guys have been watching my videos then you know that my internship ends in about two weeks and so I received my second to last paycheck today. And so with all of that said, before the end of the year, I'll finally be unemployed and because of school next semester, I don't think I'll be working a full-time job of any sort or even a very rigorous part-time job. So I wanted to kind of go through with you guys what I'll be doing to make money on the side, how I plan to distribute the next few paychecks that I have, how I plan to save money and how I'm preparing to be unemployed in general. So if you guys are interested in all of that, just stick around and we will get into it. So I want to start off with how I'm preparing to be unemployed, aka what subscriptions am I cutting out? What changes I'm making in my spending habits in general? So let's go through the list that I have. Okay, so about a year or so ago, I had bought a phone on plan with a company, with a phone company. And the first thing I did since I knew I was gonna be unemployed was to pay that off. When you buy a phone on a plan, your plan that you're forced to take out, the plans are usually higher because you're forced to take a data plan and data plans are usually more expensive, especially the ones offered when you purchase a phone on plan. I think I was paying about 85 a month just for my phone plus tax and that was literally ridiculous. So what I ended up doing was paying off the phone with the company that I had and then I switched to a different company and purchased a cheaper plan. That was so expensive to pay off kind of because I had a bit of a balance left but long run, that definitely is something that will save me a lot of money. The next thing I started doing was deleting every single Instagram page that encourages me to spend. Um, so I deleted a lot of, inf well, unfollowed a lot of influencers, a lot of companies that sell like lingerie or <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my mind, but I do follow like a lot of like lingerie and like branded, like very high brand things that I can't even afford. Um, so I unfollowed all of that just because if it's not in my face as much, I feel like maybe it'll have like a psychological impact on my spending habits. Okay. So the next thing I started doing was cutting out paid subscriptions. So I guess one subscription I'll start off with this that I'm trying to work around is I currently pay for Adobe Premiere Pro on a monthly basis and I pay about $45 a month. That's a lot of money considering I think Final Cut Pro is about $200, I think. Other subscriptions, I cut out Apple Music a couple months ago, to be honest, probably I think in September, simply because I don't use it and I don't need to pay for something that I don't even use. Another big thing that I swapped out was my internet company. So I switched internet companies as well. And the plan that I'm on now, I save an extra $25 a month. So especially, because of covid there are lots of like discounts on phone bills and internet bills so you guys like if you're trying to save money look around a lot of companies are doing special deals like sign up now you'll get 10 percent off for the next year or ten dollars off for the next year look into stuff like that you can definitely save a lot more money um things i'm looking towards canceling so i currently have an amazon prime account and the reality is my friends and my family use my Amazon Prime way more than I do and I'm the one paying for it. So I think I have to pay for that again come May. I'm going to cut it off if I'm not using it because someone else must have Amazon Prime. Like I can borrow someone else's account. People have been using mine for like four years now. So I should be able to borrow someone else's. Okay, so here's where I wanted to really talk to you guys about. So in preparation for being unemployed, one thing I really wanted to do was completely pay off my credit card debt. Now, I wasn't able to do that. However, I'm kind of in a funk and I'm, I'm not sure what to do. So if you guys have advice, please let me know in the comment section. I have enough money in my savings account to pay off my credit card. However, is it better to keep money saved up like an emergency fund kind of vibe? or just pay off the bills so I'm not in debt, so I have no interest. I can't imagine having no money in my account, but I just don't want to be unemployed and not be able to pay off my credit card, and that really stresses me out. Okay, so aside from payment plans and subscriptions and stuff like that that I'm gonna be cutting out, just some general purchases that I'm gonna be cutting out. One, I'm really gonna stop doing my nails because 
nails are expensive if anything i can paint them myself i have nail polish i have nail remover i'm just impatient and i get annoyed when they smudge my hair so if you're black you know that hair costs a decent amount of money to get done especially when you're in canada in jamaica it's so super cheap to get my hair done but in canada it's like like to do this wasn't that bad to well I've gotten so used to what that bad is, but to do these braids, it costed me like $110, $15. Um, and now imagine doing that on a regular basis because I've actually slowed down on how often I did my hair just because of COVID, but I used to do my hair like almost every month. So imagine spending $115 every month on hair, not to mention the cost to buy like the braids and all of that. So roughly around like 150 and I'm, I can't, I just can't justify spending that to be going nowhere. Um, and I need to go learn to take care of my natural hair anyways. So I'm going to stop spending money on my hair, my nails, my brows, anything beauty related, especially things that I can do at home. I will treat myself to like my, a pedicure or nails every now and again, but I just mean in terms of regular upkeep. I'm cutting that out because no. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about how I plan to make money. Even though I'm saying I'm gonna be unemployed, like I'm not gonna actually do nothing. I do have plans on ways to make money. I just meant I don't want to work for someone in the sense of like, I have to show up at X time to X time. And it's like like working at a bar or working at an office or working, I don't want to do any of that. I, I really just want my last semester to, just focus on school and have time to myself. I've been working for the past 16 months in corporate and I just want a break from that structure of having to work all the time. Like imagine I'm complaining after 16 months and this is about to be my life. So anyways, how I plan to make money, I plan to go into freelancing. So plugging myself, if anyone needs a video editor or know someone that needs a video editor, a podcast editor, a social media manager or a content creator, please message me, please hit me up. I'm gonna leave my email in the description. Please reach out to me because um, I really would appreciate the work um, and I can like get back to you with rates and stuff. Um, and so with that said, I did pick up a small little freelance thing with one of my friends. I'm not charging him as much as I would charge a full on client because this is like his small business and he's growing it. And I know he's funding it out of pocket, but um, in general, I do plan to find other clients and clients that will pay me like what I definitely think I'm worth. The good news is though, what my friend is paying me, I made sure it was enough to cover my base expenses for the month. So what those base expenses are to go into the next section, every month I still have an internet bill to pay, a phone bill to pay, my CBS because I, I have to watch Survivor. Like I have to finish Survivor. So that is staying, no matter what that is staying. Um, my Apple storage, let's not even talk about how you have to pay $15 for Apple cloud storage. I also have to pay for Canva. That's what I used to make graphics for unreserved. And yeah, those are my monthly expenses and all of that come to somewhere around $150 um, per month. So I definitely am making enough for my friend to cover that amount, which is the good news. Now, even though what my friend is paying me covers that monthly cost, and then I have a little bit left to, for myself, I don't want to be in a position also where I'm like, I can't afford to enjoy myself because on top of this, that monthly cost does not include the minimum payment balance that I'm going to have to pay on my credit cards. So. <laughs> so I definitely want to look into other ways to make money. Um, and so I guess that leads us into our next one, which is I want to find ways to monetize unreserved. I do have a lot of ideas on ways I can monetize unreserved. I think the issue there is that if I'm being very frank, So right now, the big goal is freelancing. I'm trying to get into Fiverr and Upwork and that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully make some more money through that. Okay, so let's get into the final section. I just got paid today um, and I'm about to allocate money to some 
bills that I have and to my credit card and stuff. Now, obviously, I'm not allowed to share my salary as an intern. I wouldn't be telling you guys anyway so that nobody comes and robs me. Okay, so one thing for certain is that with the amount of money I just got, I am gonna contribute 250 to savings. Additionally, I owe myself $100 that I took from my TFSA. When I borrow money from myself, I try to pay it back because I've run my TFSA to zero before because I kept borrowing money from myself and never paid myself back. And then when the time came and it was an emergency, there was absolutely no money in there. So yeah, taking 250, sending that to savings, sending 100 back to my TFSA and throwing everything else on my credit card. Something I'm looking into for the future is that I really need to get my credit sorted out because when it's time to get a loan for a house, for example, I just need to have myself in check. So right now money management is very, very important to me. And I wish I was being smart with my money in the summer. Um, that's my biggest regret. So yeah, this is everything that I have to share with you guys. Um, I, I don't know if this video is going to be that helpful. I don't know if this vlog is more for me than it is for you guys, but eh, to anyone that watches it or got this far, let me know in the comment section if you watched the whole video, I guess. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys the next time I upload a video. Bye.